Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. What is the Torah? And the question number three is that how is it beneficial for our health? Uh, well, uh, again, how many of you here have read the Bible? Okay. How many of you here have read the Torah? <coughs> okay. How many of you know the Torah is the first five books of the Bible? <laughs> uh, if somebody walks into a movie theater in the middle of the movie, chances are we're not going to understand what's going on. And we're going to have to ask somebody next to us, what's going on? And if they walked in late and they don't know what's going on, chances are we're going to have two people blind leading the blind. The ideal way to understand what's going on in a movie is to start watching it from the beginning. Well, it's the same thing when you're reading a book. If you read it from the beginning, you kind of know the, the basis of it. And uh, the first five books of the Bible uh, consist of the guidelines and the instructions of, of, that our Creator has given us. And I will tell you, there's no better health information in the world out there. And every belief system out there that promotes longevity will confirm and agree that the health instructions of the Torah are ideal for our bodies and we should be following them. So, the, so wherever you are, whatever you believe, whatever you think of, uh, if you want the best health information uh, for us physically, emotionally, and spiritually, read the first five books of the Bible, starting with Genesis. The word Genesis in Hebrew means Bereshit. Uh, and, and if you apply those principles to your life, they're going to work. For example, diet. In the, in, in the Torah, the first five books in Genesis 129, the fruit for man is the, the, the green herbs and, and, and the seed-bearing fruits. You know, and just to give you an example, you know, I can't even find a watermelon with seeds in it anymore. Seedless watermelons are not healthy. They have too much sugar and too little nutrients. Yes. So in the Torah, it tells us not to eat these hybridized foods and and these seed-bearing foods. So we see these things, but we see what man is doing, it's going against it. When I tell you man has taken what our Creator given and, and destroyed it, well, if you want to know what our Creator has given us, read the, the first five books of the Bible, and then you'll see what He's given us. And if anyone is interested in what our Messiah, Jesus, teaches, when He was around, He taught strictly 100% from the Torah, from the first five books of the Bible. There was no New Testament out when he was around. So, you know, there's all these new, there's these bumper stickers that say, what would Jesus do? Well, he certainly wouldn't do what many people are doing today. Uh, if you really want to know what he would do, the first thing he would do is he would read the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, and study it. And if you're really interested in, in learning health and his message, that's where you, you would go. Did I answer your questions? Or Do you have a website, kind of, your ministry? Well, I, my ministry website, which talks about health in the Bible, is TorahLifeMinistries.org. Torah, T-O-R-A-H, Life, L-I-F-E, Ministries.org. And if you go there, you can see uh, videos every day uh, of talking about these issues as well, if that's what you're interested in. Thank you. And there's, uh, again, I wrote this book here, Health According to the Scriptures, which sums up a lot of those important health things about diet and lifestyle that are found in the Torah, right here. Seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's way.